Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing a couple stringing machines for you guys today. A bunch of you have emailed me, IM'd me, um, left me comments about doing a stringing machine video. Uh, that's what I'll be doing today. All right, stay tuned. All right, so as a high school kid, um, when I wanted to learn how to string a racket, obviously I didn't have a lot of money. So, and I, so the, the only stringing machine option I really had to buy for myself was this machine, the Clipper Mate. So my goal was to get one of these and start learning how to string a racket. Um, I never got to buy one of these because I started working in a store and using um, an Ectolon H. So I'm sure a lot of you guys know what an Ectolon H is. It's a crank machine that's a, you know, has a stand. But a lot of my friends owned this machine and strung their own rackets. Um, I actually saw firsthand as to how you know long it takes with this machine but hey it got the it got the thing done it got the it got your racket strung so for most people right this was the goal you know in high school you get one of these you string your own racket uh, maybe you string your buddy's racket make a couple bucks on the side um uh, hey what more could you ask for right and the thing was like 199 bucks when i was a kid so now it's a little more but not horrible right um so let me just show you one quick thing about this this stringing machine i'm going to bring you in a little bit it's a very simple machine very uh, light you can hide it you can throw, store it easily um, the only thing is that it uses these clamps here to hold tension right they're like vice grips so these those vice grips don't maintain the tension very well so you'll have to make up for um, lost tension so it'll lose about 10 to 20 percent of tension while you're stringing uh, so with a starting entry level machine like this i mean it does the job don't get me wrong you'll just have to compensate a little bit because those clamps um, will lose about 10 to 20 percent of um, tension immediately moving up to the next level machine if we if you could get to something like this this is a gamma machine here um, with the floating clamps here on the side you're still going to lose tension but the six point bracing system is much better for your racket it won't torque as much so if you can get to this machine um, you're definitely going to be faster stringing and it'll be a little more accurate. You're still going to lose tension though. Don't get me wrong. It's still going to be about 10, 15% loss of tension, but it's going to be better for your racket. And that's the progression 602 at about $450 there. So this is kind of what that machine looks like. Um, uh, that Turna, this is the gamma version of it called the Progression 2 uh, drop weight. So you got your drop weight head, you wrap the string around and through the middle and then you drop the weight down. Um, you set the tension with this as to where it's supposed to go. You got your six point bracing system for the racket so it doesn't torque too much. And most importantly, you got your base clamp tightening and then your regular clamp. So double clamping the strings will keep it way more accurate. Um, I know these. this is a floating clamp, right? Which is basically holds tension when you don't have this type of system in your stringing machine. So this holds tension way better than using something like this. 
so, but I mean, hey, you kind of, you get what you have to get. Um, I get it. So going up a little bit more uh, with a stringing machine, we want to get like an Ectalon H, like what I started with about 30 years ago. And that would be a crank machine. So not a drop weight, but a crank. So one that looks like this, the Turna 300 CS. As you can see, there's a crank wheel here and a head there that you crank back, pin pops out and locks in the tension. Um, again, six point mounting system with double clamping base clamp and regular clamp. So something like that would be great if you can move up to something like this. Uh, machines like this start at probably about $800, $850. Um, but these things are workhorses. I mean, they don't ever break down. You'll have these for, you know, 20, 30 years and usually nothing goes wrong with them. All right, so this Progression ELS from Gamma was my first home machine. I bought one of these 25 years ago and this thing is a workhorse. I mean, I still have it today. I don't string it, string on it much anymore, but um, it still works. Uh, and for what it is and what it does, you can probably have this machine for a lifetime, uh, depending on how many string jobs you do. I used to crank out 10 or 20 a night uh, in the busy times with this machine. So, and this is a tabletop version, electric, with a spin wheel and very, very, I mean, as accurate as you're gonna get with a, a machine like this. So uh, again, six point mounting, double clamping system. Uh, so if you can get to this, right, you're cooking real good and you're doing well. The next level up would be these constant pull machines without the wheel. So, it, the Diablo will tell you that it's going to be a, a pull straight back machine, um, way more accurate than a dial. Now, even the dial, you probably lose about five to 10% of tension because uh, that head is just spinning to pull tension. Whereas this just pulls it back and the Diablo levels it out and keeps the tension pretty consistent. So, and again, um, the six mount, six point mounting, right? As you can see though, um, and I'll talk about this in a minute, is the more you pay for a machine, you gain more speed. Ease and speed is what you're paying for. So, and I'll show you why in a minute here. But um, as we get into the star five here, again, you got a double clamping system, right? And you got some diamond coated, um, diamond coated clamps here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to turn it on. It goes through its, you know, tests to make sure everything's working properly. So it's checking the diagnostics. All the switch are on. It's rolling through the hydraulic system where it's going to rise. All right. So in my opinion, this is the best machine. Now, it, it's gone through its diagnostics and it's ready to go. So I go here, right? And then this is programmed to different heights and different stringers, right? I'm ass. <laughs> so I'm gonna get it to my height. So it's set to my height. I'm gonna put a, a racket on and check this out. My mains, when I do my mains, it's gonna tilt towards me a little bit. So I could do my mains, right? Without straining my back or hunching over too much. And then when I do my crosses, right? I'll hit the cross button and it's gonna come even higher and more towards me. So I don't have to tilt down to do my crosses. But, so I mean, so that's a, you know, cool machine. No other machine out there is gonna do that for you. So that's why we like the Bayardo. Um, not only that, I'm gonna get it back to, flush for you this has a the double locking mechanism but it's also built for speed because all i have to do is drop it 
and it unlatches that. So although the right, right way to do it is to press first and then let go, but at least it's a press and you don't have to unlatch or unlock the base clamp mechanism. I know a bunch of you guys are gonna ask me about Iag Iagnus and Alpha Stringers. Um, I've owned an Alpha Stringer before and it's, it's good. Um, you know, I've never owned an Iagnus Stringer before. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's uh, it's this right here. This is the Hawk 800. So those actually are actually really good machines. I've owned an Alpha machine before in the past, and um, it's actually worked really well. I mean, it's just little things that differentiate one machine from another. But I mean, the heads are always consistent. The clamps are always consistent. Um, if if a company decides to make a stringer machine. They're probably gonna, you know, put some thought into it and make a decent machine. So depending upon your budget will depend on, you know, how fast, how efficient um, you're gonna be able to string a machine. Obviously, um, the more you spend, the more accurate the string, the string job will be, and the faster you'll do it, right? So. If you can graduate or get up to a machine like this one here, I mean, you'll be doing pretty well. It'll be pretty accurate, right? If you can graduate and do enough volume to do like a professional stringing machine, you know, like a Wilson Bayardo or a Babylon Star 5 or, you know, something in that realm or a Gamma, you know, 7800, 8800, and on any of those with a constant pull, um, you'll be doing well, right? Um, as you can see with this machine, you know, the six point, you have to turn each one of these to lock it tight. Whereas on the star five, you just turn one knob and they go in. So the setup time will be a lot faster the more you spend, just like anything else, right? So um, money equals efficiency, speed, and accuracy. But I mean, spend what you can, you right? The main thing is you get a string job done and you save a little money, all right? Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.